Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking, five. What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. I'm playing a team deathmatch on Azar. Azar Cave, Azar Cave, whatever it's called. I'm playing a team deathmatch on it, and it's been, you know, like, wh why are people triggered? This, this is what I really want to talk about. Why are, as a slide, that was like a super slide. Why are people triggered because people are excited for Modern Warfare 4? I... I, I, I don't understand it. This is the first modern shooter. Think about it. Like, uh, they had uh, Insurgency or whatever, but, you know, that, that's not like a triple A. I don't, is that a triple A developer? But this is the first modern shooter since, damn, since probably Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2 is supposed to be futuristic. Oh, Ghost was after Black Ops 2. Okay, since Ghost, since Call of Duty Ghost, and Battlefield been releasing these past World War One, World War... I don't know what they were thinking. World War One, World War Two games, and Call of Duty would go World War Two, then 10,000 miles in the future. I, I don't know what these AAA devs were thinking. And then... When they say, all right, we're coming out with a modern shooter. Like I was saying, I don't care. Basic, do an imaginational, mo imaginational, uh, imagine, imaginary modern day shooter. Do it from, make your own story up. As long as it's not the guys who made up Game of Thrones season eight. I mean, what were they thinking? They must have just got done playing some Black Ops 4. Okay, 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 Jive. Enough with the jokes. But seriously, what were the devs thinking with this World War II, World War I-ish stuff and Call of Duty with this stupid-ass futuristic dumb stuff that only children are going to play and their main player base aren't gonna play the people who actually have the money to buy the games aren't going to play like say i'm a kid right i'm 12 years old i buy fortnite right so with microtransactions i have 60 bucks no i have 80 bucks i have 80 bucks i got fortnite and i could spend 80 bucks on microtransactions yeah, that's awesome, right? So if I buy Call of Duty for $60 and some tax, I only have $15 to spend on microtransactions. That's where you failed, Call of Duty, trying to dick ride a childish game that's free. Until you're free, that's when you can make a child. Why am I going on this rant? But it makes sense. Until you're free, that's when you could go on this rant and make all the money Fortnite made because it was actually free. You know, when, when you pay for the game, you're like, all right, yeah, I spent enough money on the game. I don't want to buy any stupid microtransactions. Although they were making more money doing microtransactions than without doing microtransactions. But that's just mathematically obvious. If you're not doing it, of course you're not going to make money from microtransactions. But the game's numbers went down every year. The numbers went so low, the online percentage of players went so low that they started hiding their numbers. They used to be pride. It, it used to be pride in the numbers. Two million people are on Modern Warfare 3 alone on playstation it was one day it was two million on playstation and it was like a million and a half on xbox 
all together than Black Ops 2. I think they had 2 million and PlayStation had 2 million. Concurrent, all together. Now they hide the numbers. Let that sink in, man. They made a big mistake. They made a great decision in coming back to a modern setting. And people are upset that some people are excited to be in a modern setting again. It just, it, 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 this is a step forward. It doesn't even matter. It, well, it does matter. I do want this to be like a very fucking good game. It has the potential. It has all the tools. If the maps are good on this game, man, and, and if they, if the maps are good on this game and they boost, this is my opinion, dickheads, my opinion. If the maps are good and they boost time to kill a little bit, just a teeny bit, this game will be seven months, eight months playable, nine months playable. And then that's when they can get lazy and put a uh, terminal in the game and favela and, and put some old back in the day maps that they don't have to put any effort to. That's just my video for the day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the alert bell. And remember, Michael Jordan is the jive turkey of basketball. I'm out.